The Boss is back and we are stoked. Someone who is also back is the wonderful Lizzie Jelfs from Sky Racing, who looks absolutely sensational at Randwick this morning. Lizzie, thank you for joining us. Um, we want to talk to you first Thanks, of Thanks, Julie. We want to talk to you first of all about a couple of the trials. We've seen Red Zell. Um, he's been back a couple of times. What have you made of him so far? Yeah, Redzel, he's such an interesting character. I mean, he's the only horse to ever have won an Everest, so we have to stand up and have a look at him when you see his trials. But he's usually quite relaxed, his first trial, and then they pop the blinkers on him and he really wakes up for that second trial. And I spoke to Kara McAvoy after the trial and he said that he feels he's going as well as he has done in previous preparations, but it's just whether he's going to have that same desire under race pressure. So I suppose he's optimally cautious about how he's going to go and uh, he looks fantastic I mean when you compare him to a human he's like a sprinter like a Carl Lewis he's got those strong hind quarters he's made for speed he's short he's compact and he's got speed written all over him as far as his physicalities are concerned yeah what, what, a, what a horse and uh, you, as you say to win two Everest and a pretty poor autumn by his lofty standards but you couldn't discount what he is capable of in the spring I'll let uh, Julie ask you about Arcadia Queen in just a tick but I do want to ask you about Miss Finland because I was speaking to uh, John and Paul Massara just moments ago and I mentioned uh, that you worked so closely with Miss Finland yeah, she was a wonderful filly. She was, um, she was actually remarkable. When you look back at her racing record, she won a Golden Slipper, and in the same year, she was able to win a VRC Oaks. So she won over 1,200 metres, and then she uh, won over a staying trip. And she only won over those staying trips because she was just so talented, and she was beating everything around her in her age group. And uh, I was just very fortunate to be able to work with such a remarkable filly and then mare. And um, she's obviously by a reduced choice. So apart of Reduce, even though he's not there anymore, is uh, in Miss Finland, and I'm sure that uh, she'll be having many falls to come. She's uh, already had a Group One winner uh, stay with me, so she's obviously a very, very good broodmare and was an exceptional racehorse. Arcadia Queen Lizzie, she has made the trip from WA. What did you make of her trial this week? I thought it was pretty good, Julie. She's, um, she's an interesting horse. I haven't had a lot to do with her because obviously she's done most of her racing over in WA. So I was very excited to have a look at her and see what she looks like. She's, uh, she's got a bit of an attitude. She looks as though she uh, can get quite feisty and she likes things her own way. But most of the good uh, mares and fillies always have a little bit of an attitude. So she's big, she's strong, she's very, very powerful. Uh, she looks to me as though she's going to get over a little bit further than the Everest trip. Uh, I think that will be her optimum type of distance, 1400 to a mile, um, but she's a beautiful type and she's certainly got a, a bit of a zest for life, I shall say. Yeah, I know the star are very happy with their choice, of course. Uh, one of two Peters family horses that will be in the Everest. But it's, it's a great concept, isn't it, Lizzie, because there's so much jockeying for positions, isn't it? Uh, look, not, not only with horses, but with the jockeys as well. I, was, I spoke to Glenn Boss and he's hopeful that Brutal might be able to step up to the mark, but there's not that many spots left. There isn't. Well, when you think about it, obviously Godolphin are going to put one of their horses in. They uh, own a slot. Then you've got Coolmore and they will go to put one of their horses in the slot. And then you've got James Harron, who is pretty much a neutral conveyance. He can have whoever he likes. Overnight, it was very interesting. There was a race called the Nunthorpe Stakes, um, and it was won by a horse called Batash. And he's a horse who's arguably the best sprinter in Europe at the moment but it's whether you want to bring a horse from overseas or whether there's horses here that are still be unearthed I mean we're at the start of the spring so anything can happen mm. and certainly the horses that have already been picked for the slots there might be some jockeying around it's a long way to go and it's certainly not all over yet and of course what about nature strip his trial was absolutely unbelievable at the start of the week there is a long way to go, but we cannot wait. Lizzie Delves, thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful day at Randwick, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Lizzie.